Here you can see a normal brain versus one with Alzheimer's disease. In one with Alzheimer's, you can observe amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles. Both of these structures are pathological. Amyloid plaques are aggregates of misfolded proteins that form in the spaces between nerve cells. Neurofibrillary tangles are abnormal accumulations of a protein called tau that collects inside neurons. Now, let's make a coronal slice right here. We can compare two brain slices, the first in a healthy individual and the second in an individual with Alzheimer's disease. Due to massive apoptosis, which occurs in later stages of the development of Alzheimer's disease, many brain regions begin to shrink, for example the region responsible for memory or language. By the final stages of Alzheimer's, this process, called brain atrophy, is widespread, causing significant loss of brain volume. A new study reveals a mechanism linking the pesticide DDT to Alzheimer's disease. This study shows how the persistent environmental pollutant DDT causes increased amounts of toxic amyloid beta, which form the characteristic amyloid plaques found in the brains of those with Alzheimer's disease. By the way, DDT or dichlorodiphenyltrichloroethane is an insecticide. DDT was developed as the first of the modern synthetic insecticides in the 1940s. The United States banned the use of this insecticide in 1972. Some countries outside the United States still use DDT to control the mosquitoes that spread malaria. People highly exposed to DDT in the past decades are now beginning or already in the range of ages with a higher risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Although banned in the U.S., DDT exposure is likely possible today from two sources. The first source represents the legacy contamination, meaning DDT that still lingers in soil and water, and the second source is imported foods. Now, let's study the mechanism by which DDT increases the buildup of amyloid plaques. Let's zoom in on one axon terminal of this neuron. The study focused on sodium channels, which the nervous system uses to communicate between neurons. DDT causes these channels to remain open, leading to increased firing of neurons and increased release of a peptide monomer called amyloid beta. These monomers tend to bond together just outside the neurons and form beta amyloid plaques, which are clumps of lots of these monomers. These plaques can potentially get between the neurons, which can get in the way of neuron-to-neuron -neuron signaling. If brain cells can't signal and relay information, then brain functions like memory can be seriously impaired. That's why DDT is an environmental risk factor for Alzheimer's disease. In the study, researchers demonstrate that if neurons are treated with tetrodotoxin, a compound that blocks sodium channels in the brain, the increased production of the amyloid precursor protein and toxic amyloid beta species is prevented.